friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new series in, on my channel here, and I'm going to be doing one 6x6 paper pad and three different cards from that same paper pad. Um, this series is going to be not really um, back to back. I'm just going to do this maybe once or twice a month. Um, so, but so this one I'm going to start off with this one here from Simple Stories called Winter Wonderland. And like I said, we're going to be making three different cards from this paper pad. I like this one because it's got several different image, uh, different patterns in it, of course. And then you've also got these ones that's got um, already your sentiments on it. So we're going to take advantage of these little images like this that have sentiments on it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just kind of choose ones from this pack here. And I chose the, to do the one that's set with the little snowman at the, at the very upper right hand corner there. And it's going to... Uh, allow us to have like a focal panel as well as our sentiment all in one thing. So we're going to build our card around this here. And I love this little sentiment. It's so sweet. And it says some people are worth melting for, which I absolutely adore that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this down and obviously um, get this to wor a workable size. So I'm taking these scalloped frames here from MFT and I'm going to take another pattern from this pack and I'm going to create a base frame for it. I've cut down a piece of white cardstock and this is going to be um, a panel for our, our additional pattern paper that we're going to choose from the pack. I'm going to choose this one here with the little snowflakes on it and it also gives us really great contrast between our lighter patterns that we've already chosen as well as the darker ones. So it really complements each other. I went ahead and also die cut from the same die, just a piece of white cardstock to give this pattern paper some a little bit more stability. Since this is going to be our focal panel, I want this to be substantial just in case I put this through the mail. So I'm just adding some liquid glue to that and applying that onto my white cardstock. And now I'm going to do the same with um, the back of the uh, a uh, little darker pattern here. So we're going to get that on, uh, put the put the glue on there, and then get that onto our white card panel. Get that into place, and this really frames up um, each one of these patterns really nicely. And obviously we didn't do any stamping whatsoever on this card, and you can still make uh, cards using pattern papers like this that have the uh, images as well as the sentiments included. And it's I think this maybe not even took me six six or so minutes to make, um, less than 10 minutes, let's say that. So really quick and simple, if you need a really quick card, this is a great way to do that. So I would encourage you to look through your pattern papers to see if you have things like this in, in those stacks because a lot of them are now doing these kind of things that you can make tags or whatever out of. Um, I suggest using these like this in case you don't want to get out of your stamps. So I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of this panel here. Get all, remove all of those backings off of that. And then adhere this into place. And then I'm going to create my card base, which is a craft card card base. I believe this is from uh, Paper Tray Ink. And um, I will have all of the supplies that I'm using today. Of course, I, as always, I always try to list everything that I can in the uh, description bar, just in case you're interested in seeing what I did exactly use in case I didn't mention it in the video. So that is um, pretty much going to complete card number one. I'm going to add just a little bit of shimmer to the heart of the little snowman as well as his scarf. Just to give it just a little bit of something a little extra. Whenever you put it in the light, it'll catch the light. Because we didn't do any stamping or anything on this card, this will just jazz it up just that much more. So I really do love how this, this first card turned out and it was really quick and simple. So that completes card number one in this series and we're going to move on to card number two. And here's a close up of that card. So for card number two, I thought I would do a little bit more of an in-depth card. And I am going to take several patterns of this pack here and I'm going to just get some that really do complement each other. Obviously this, this whole pad does, but I've just chosen several, uh, about four different patterns, and you can also use the patterns. Obviously, if you've got double-sided patterns, you can use those on the back too. So the ones I've got facing up are the ones that I intended to use. So I just cut these in uh, strips, no rhyme or reason to the sizes. I just cut them in different uh, uh, widths, 
it does not matter what, you know, because it kind of gives it a little bit more of a random feel too. So I have cut down a piece, another piece of craft cardstock, and that's going to be our base of our card. I'm going to take my tape runner now, and I'm going to add, add these strips at a diagonal. And it's essentially what I'm doing is creating my own pattern paper. Um, you can do this, especially if you've got scraps laying around. I used to do this a lot uh, whenever I first started to card make uh, my cards that I had a bunch of scraps, and of course I still do, but um, this is a great way to use up those scraps, and you can make several different cards doing this. So um, I'm going to only do this one half of that panel there. I usually sometimes like to use up the whole panel, but I thought for something different, I would just add these patterns, just basically half of my um, card stock here. So I also cut down a piece um, using a Lawn Fawn scalloped die just to give it a little bit of a decorative edge and it also finishes off that edge there and it doesn't leave it so plain. So I'm taking my liquid glue and applying that scalloped edge there and it really just ties everything together. So I'm just gonna cut that pattern paper off really flush and you can kind of see there um, how it all looks like a cohesive pattern. Like I, I pulled this from that uh, six by six pad. It's really, really fun. So now I wanted to add a, a sentiment here. This is the only stamping, by the way, that I'm doing in this whole um, series today, or these of these three cards. So this stamp set is from MFT, and it's a really great one. This was in a card kit that I re, that I got a couple months back, and I love the sentiment here. It says, "Friends, warm the soul." I'm inking that up with some Lawn Fawn ink. I love my Lawn Fawn inks. Um, for several different reasons. They're really great quality and they've got really great colors. So um, I kind of stamp that at a diagonal just to keep with a the theme. So I'm going to choose another pattern from the pack just to give it a different frame. I cut that with a stitched rectangle die from right at home. And I'm just going to add my liquid glue onto my main panel and adhere that to that, that uh, pattern paper there. And I'm going to score my white card base at four and a quarter and then it's going to be an A2 size card. And then all you got to do now is just give that good, good increased with your bone folder and then add your liquid glue on the back or your adhesive that you want to use on the back and just adhere that into place. And again, just another really quick fun card that you can make. It doesn't take any time at all. Honestly, you guys, these three cards only took me probably... Um, maybe 45 minutes uh, altogether to make. So, um, you know, if you really sit down and try to kind of think outside the box, you you too can achieve um, probably more than three cards, really, out of one pack. So, uh, to give it a little bit more of embellishment to this card, I thought I would add some uh, uh, sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. I don't use my sequins a whole, whole lot. Um, I'm trying to. <laughs> They're so pretty to look at, but I don't use them so much because I'm afraid they're going to get messed up if I mail my cards in the mail. I know I've got some friends that do use them and they mail theirs in the mail. It seems like it's okay. So um, I'm trying to really be mindful of to use my sequins up. And to, and I don't use liquid glue to apply them either. I've got some bling uh, zots, or that's no, not zots, yeah, zots, um, bling adhesive to uh, adhere them. And that makes it a much better way to adhere my sequins. And I just added some stickles in the middle and that finishes off card number two. So card number three is going to be very quick and simple. We're going to take this same right at home die. This is a stitched rectangle from right at home shop. And um, I like this pattern. It's pretty much basically almost done for you because of the way that the pattern is in the corner there. And all you can do, all you have to do is just kind of put this on a card base of your choice. And so I'm just gonna add some glue here. I really do love li using liquid glue lately to adhere everything to my cards because that gives it that little bit more of a wiggle room to adhere everything into place and it gives you time to adjust if you need to. So I've got these wood veneer here. I don't know if Lawn Fawn still sells these or not, um, but if they don't, you certainly can use any wood veneer that you already ha have. Um, or just die cut uh, uh, anything from if you've got a word die, die. You can die cut that several different times from um, any color cardstock uh, several times and adhere them back to back and kind of create the same effect. It wouldn't be wood veneer, but it would give it the same kind of effect as far as a 
a dimensional die cut. So I'm just going to add some uh, multi mat medium here to the back of this because uh, it's also a really great strong adhesive for one and two if I did if the, any of the glue oozed out it wouldn't uh, show because it wouldn't be glossy it would dry matte. So to jazz up this a little bit I'm going to add some Wink of Stella to this wood veneer piece here and then I'm going to also add some shimmer here shimmer spritz all over the card to give it some shimmer. And that will complete uh, card number three in this series for today. I hope you enjoyed all three cards and just to look at seeing the options that you can take from one six by six paper pad. You can, you can make it as simple or as hard as you like or as complex as you like. So um, if you really enjoyed this series, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you on my next one. Bye-bye.